my name is Laura and I am doing my uh, mid-month wrap-up. Um, so far in the month of March I read eight books and one little little short story. So I'm going to share with you my thoughts and I am using my um, trusty journal. Um, so I am going to share with you uh my thoughts of the eight books that i read so um my mid my ends of the month won't be so long <laughs> so anyway so the first book that i read in the month of march is the light of the fireflies and this is by paul penn and it was translated by simon braun um it was originally um written in spanish and um, it, now it's in English. And this was an Amazon Prime. If you're an Amazon Prime member, I got it free for the month of March. Um, and I thought this was, the synopsis of this book was uh, amazing. And I wound up reading it right away on my Kindle. So the book looks like this. And it is kind of creepy. I gave it four and a half stars. I really, really liked it. Um, it's a captivating story. It kept me reading um, and wanting to know more. Um, it reminded me so much of Flowers in the Attic, except these people are um, trapped in the basement. So, um, and the whole time um, I'm trying to figure out why are they in the basement um, and also that they're, um, they were burned. So they have some disfigurements and that is also in the uh, synopsis. Um, so I'm not spoiling anything. And the story, half the story is told by a 10 year old boy. And um, it's very dark. It's lots of twists and turns. It was like a roller coaster ride when I was reading it. And yeah, I don't want to give you any more because um, if you want to read it, I don't want to spoil anybody. So, but I really liked it. It was four and a half stars. I have my friends reading it. I told them to download this one. So yeah, so that's the first book. The second book I listened to on audio, um, I finally uh, read The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. And that's this one here. And I gave it four stars. It's about the Holocaust, uh, World War II. Um, and the book is told by death. And um, unfortunately, I saw the movie before I read the book. So I did not cry. I didn't have any feelings while I was reading this book. Um, I thought it was good, um, so yeah, and it's a very, very long book, and the audio was really good, so yeah, so I got it four, four stars. The next book that I was reading was Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Mascame, and that's this one here. So, um, my thoughts on this one, um, I gave it four stars. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, however, I had many emotions while I was reading this book. I was angry at the parents. I was annoyed at some times. I was happy. I was sad, but I had no tears during this book. Um, the main character in this book is Eden. She's 16 years old. She, she goes to the, in the summer to live with her dad. Um, her dad got remarried. The stepmom has three kids of her own from her previous marriage. So, um, and the oldest boy, Tyler, he has lots of emotional problems. Um, this is um, really, I think this should be a young adult book. Um, not, not young adult, new adult. It has sexual content in it. Um, it was, um, it has a mature... Uh, content, uh, drugs, alcohol, child abuse, sexual content. Um, I don't think this one should be a YA. I think this is for mature audiences. Um, the ending of this book was a little disappointing, um, but I do want to read the second book, which I already pre-ordered and I have. So um, yeah, I want to read it, um, but I gave it four stars. Um, the next book that I read uh, was an audio book. I took out One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich from the library. And it looks like this one. So I started the series. Um, I listened to it and tried to read it at the same time. However, the audio book skips. And it skips paragraphs. And it skips pages. And 
it skips a lot. So um, I did read it. Um, I felt like I was skimming the book though. Um, and uh, the narrating of this person who narrates it is like, she has a very uh, Brooklyn type New York accent. Um, and um, it gave me the, if you ever saw the movie, My Cousin Vinny, uh, that's how that's how the whole book like that woman in that cat in that movie that's how the whole book is like narrated to you um so um it didn't blow me away it was good um i gave it three stars i did watch the movie afterwards and i thought the movie was pretty it was about the same three stars so yeah so i will continue um stephanie plum was kind of funny and i do now that i watched the movie i have the characters in my mind what they look like so yeah so i am going to continue on which i did i went to the next book <laughs> right after that audio i downloaded um two for the dough by uh same author janet ivanovich so i am um, i read this one and I took this out from the library and again three stars um, this one has um, I was really um, liking the grandmother in the second book and uh, there was funny content in this one it has mature content in it and they found body parts that well, was like oh my god really <laughs> uh, yeah so this is remember this is an adult book uh, has adult content. Um, there was no conclusion. I felt like the audio in the second book just ended and I'm like, oh, I want more. I want more. Why did it just end? But you know, there's another book. There's like 20 something books. So yeah, so I had to pick up the next book to see what's going to happen. You know, it just ended and I'm like, okay. So I gave it three stars again. Uh, the next book, um, is a graphic novel that I picked up and I got this from the library. It's called, uh, the Un unbeatable squirrel girl it's book one um uh, it's called squirrel power and it looks like this and i got this out from the library and i gave this one three stars as well it was an okay read um i did like the fact that there was no sex and no foul language um so i thought it was great for middle grade if you want to read this one um, it's about a superhero. She kicks butts. Um, <laughs> it, it was pretty cute. And, um, but for me, I think it was an okay story and I gave it three stars. So the next book that I picked up, um, from the library, um, this one was a five star read for me. Um, the things we keep, I already did a, um, video, um, review of this one by Sally Hepworth. So you could see that on my channel. It looks like this one. Um, really quickly, it's a page turner. Um, it's told by three point of views. Uh, Anna, she's 38 years old. She's diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Her family puts her in an old age home. Uh, the second person is Eve. She's the cook and the housekeeper. And she works in the old age home. And she had a tragic event happen to her. And the third person that's telling the story is Clementine. Um, and she is Eve's daughter who is seven years old. And I actually cried while reading Clementine's story. So yeah, she got me really, uh, upset and I was crying. Um, uh, true, this book is about true love, bullies, um, uh, and love never forgets. So I already wrote, wrote that quote in here and it's actually written on the front of that book, love never forgets. So yeah, <laughs> it was good. Okay, so the next book that I listened to one audio was Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes, and this is book two. I gave this one four and a half stars. It was good. I listened to it on audio. It's this one. Um, and um, uh, Joe continues. He's the same guy that was in the first book, same narrative. narrative. It's, it's, this is a great audio book. Um, he really like talks to you and... Uh, but it's an adult content. Remember, it's an adult book. Um, the guy, main character, is his name is Joe, and he is a serial killer. Um, he um, Parts of the book was a little slow, um, but I laughed out loud at one point. I was in the car listening to this going to work, and he says, in, quote, this is a quote from the book, just call it a fucking triplet. So I was like, what? And I was like laughing hysterical. Yes, I just cursed. <laughs> but I thought that was really funny. 
because they were talking about twins plus one and uh, that that just blew me away I was like laughing I never laugh out loud in the car like going to work <laughs> but uh, just the way he said it it was like funny um, this book has adult content it has vocal language uh, there's sexual content there's violence and there's murder um, but it is a good and adult book very good adult book so yeah so that's that and the very last book book is not really a book it's a short story very short it's three pages long um someone sent this to me a link she's like you gotta read this so um so i read it it is annie's day by andy weir now he remember he wrote the martian so it is if you go on to goodreads and you go to annie's day and right on there there is a link where you could click on it and you could read the story it is three pages long it took me five minutes to read it and my notes say oh my god oh my god really while well, i was reading it and it had an awesome ending and he got me lol <laughs> so i just want to let you know um if go read it it's uh free it's only three pages long it'll take you five minutes um yeah so <laughs> anyway so that's it for the mid-month wrap-up i'm in a whole bunch of books right now i don't know how many i'm going to complete by the end of the month but i'm in a little bit of a late reading slump i nothing's keeping my attention um i am like watching tv i am listening to the radio instead of audiobooks so i'm hoping that i get out of this little slump and get back into reading again so nothing's pulling me in right now so I'm hoping I have more to do at the end of March so yeah we do have a whole week off in March so I'm hoping I can get some more reading done so anyway thank you for watching I'll see you at the in another video bye